We got it again. You go. Boom! <laughs>Okay, it is February 20, it is day five. We're back up at Mountain Crossings. And right here I have myself, who? I'm Rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> and what do you do around these parts? I work at Hidden Pond Hostel. That is sweet. Uh-huh. And Hidden Pond Hostel, you're about to give me this sticker? I'm about to give you this sticker. Oh, this that's is right. for Appalachian Threads. Okay, we got some information on yes. the back. Oh, well, it's, oh. On the, it's on the it's sticker. On the, it's on the sticker? Yes. All right, we have an, an exchange of ours as well. Oh, Happiest oh. known time from Unicorn. Thank you so much. Right, our information's these on the back. These are so cool. So again, the hostel is Hidden Pond Hostel. Hidden Pond I can hostel. show you. I have it. Let's do this. Let's see. Okay, Hold this on. is how we're going to start off the day, uh, talking uh, about Hidden Pond Hostel here. Here we, we go. This is our business card. Hidden Pond Hostel. Yes. We're down here at Mountain Crossings at Neil Gap. I take it it's not too far away, Rainbow. Not too far away. But, I just dropped some hikers off on this shuttle. All right, Unicorn. Let's get in here. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hidden Pond Hostel. Happiest known time, day five. Let's hit it. Let's do this. Thank you. All right. This looks like it's official, day five. This is Unicorn diving into her first hiker box. I'm documenting this the whole way up. Unicorn is a hiker box diver. <laughs> oh yeah. Dive number one, let's see what we got here. We are still at Mountain Crossings. We resupplied here. I think it's a little bit past nine. This is kind of like the life of uh, through hiking here, resupplying and rebagging and repackaging. Repackaging. I really didn't take a lot of this footage when I was on the PCT in 2021 about our resupply and what we really do. So I'm trying to change that so you can get an idea of kind of like the schedule we're on. We gotta get on trail. Life is good. Happiest known time. Happiest known time. Right there. Okay, so we got Uni on mic. Yep. She's gonna go up. We're gonna walk here, finally get out of Mountain Crossings. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna about to sign the sheet here. And this is the only roof that I know of on the AT, officially on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but here it is. There's a the ceiling right there. And this is the official trail. Unicorn is going to sign us in. Right there, I'm gonna walk out here. Pretty much, look at this beautiful trail today. I think we're leaving a little bit after, I don't know what time it is, 10 o'clock on a Monday. And uh, we're gonna try to move on up. I don't know, the plan is to maybe do 10, 11 miles and take it slow. You know, we have another three night before our resupply. So there's no sense in rushing right now. We're just taking our time and letting our bodies really get strong and to to get that strengthening up so we can start to crush a little bit later. But no rush, living happiest known time. Again, leaving uh, Neil Gap here under the rooftop, Unicorn signing in. Let's see what the day has in store for rental and Unicorn. Catch you on the flip. Looks like we are entering Raven Cliffs Wilderness. Yeah. Unicorn, you can take the lead. All right. So what were their names again? Oh, we Rainbow. met. Rainbow and Lost Johnny. Rainbow and Lost Johnny. Yeah, they met on an AT through hike they did last year and they got engaged up yeah. on Katahdin. Yeah. Um, they got engaged up on Katahdin and opened up a hostel this year and they're doing really good. Their hikers are picking up and it's going to be a good time there. So they're going to follow along on our adventure and Hopefully they want to do another trail themselves. Yeah. So the big thing on that for me was I took a lot of time on the PCT with talking and stopping and talking. So I'm hoping that I can still have conversation while we're moving, you know, without stopping and taking the shot and talking. I feel like we can get a lot more fluid shots without taking the flow out of our hike. But it's very natural when you're talking to like turn around and to look at the camera, you know? So I'm gonna have a lot of shots where 
you see us far away from the camera and we're still talking. But besides that, we're happy about their hostel. Brand new, they just uh, opened it up last year and yeah. uh, gave us some stickers. Yeah, you can find them at Appalachian.threads with a Z. And you'll see their nice tie-dye AT logo. Yeah, I'm looking, to, looking forward to get some stuff sent to us as well. I sure as heck wouldn't think that the, uh, <laughs> the Appalachian Trail would be complete without wearing some Appalachian Trails clothes. Yeah. There's Appalachian Trails with a Z. Threads, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right, threads. <laughs> threads. Uh, so, looking forward to that. It looks like it's colorful clothes. You know I love my lime green. I'm looking forward to some colorful clothes as well. I'm huffing and puffing. I remember last time we did this coming out of Neil Gap. <laughs> it was like 100 degrees and it was tough. Yeah. So I'm gonna concentrate on the trail itself. Thanks everyone for watching. The videos are probably lagging by two days now because of uh, lack of internet connection and the Wi-Fi was really slow where we stayed. So I'm gonna try to get this uploaded once I get to the top of the mount when I catch some 5G. Catch everyone on the flip, thank you. Look at that nice green mushroom. That is beautiful. And as you can see, it is sunny out and it's like 60 degrees, really nice day. We're making our way past mountain crossings and I feel like my old self because I took the smart wool off and <laughs> I got my sleeves on. So this time around, I went with black sleeves. It feels good. It's how I like to hike. It feels cool on your arms, but then it's warm when you want it to be. Gives me a little bit of protection. I just really like the sleeves, you know? So, we figure maybe we'll do, I don't know how many miles we'll do today. I said back then 11, I had to stop at the top of the mountain and I uh, got some good 5G UC signal and uh, was able to upload an episode and to get another one started. I actually, um, I'll show you later but I have the phone always on in my FUPA, my z Packs front utility pack accessory. And it's plugged into a 5,000 milliamp. If you watch a gear review, it's a little card. It's like 5,000 milliamp and I leave my phone on and wherever there's a signal, it just slowly incrementally uploads the, the video. But if it takes, uh, you know, if it's fast, I'll stop. I won't stop for 15 minutes and let the whole thing, but Sometimes, you know, you get that fake signal, I call it. It says 4G LTE, it says all that, but it's slow. I call that fake internet. And then sometimes you'll catch it and it's like, boom. And it catches fast. It just depends how many people are on the network as well. If you're in a crowded area or if you're on the side of a mountain. But uh, that's the difficulty is trying to get these videos uploaded. You know, with less lag time in between where we are at and people can follow. So the hostels and the trail angels and uh, friends and family can kind of find out we know where we are, but uh, sometimes it might lag a day or two. I don't know if I fall too far behind, I'll drop two episodes in a day. But uh, taking it day by day, speaking of which, step by step, and uh, working on that numbers game. <laughs> Threw those numbers to the ground. Well, let's see what's in store for Rental and Unicorn today. We're just getting our groove on now, a little bit late. And uh, we're just gonna see if we can get out of here, 
in, I don't know, three nights, three days, four, four days, three nights, I don't know, before the next resupply. And then I can really get comfortable with and get caught up on all the things I need to do on the internet and all of my vlogging and really getting the flow on. But body's feeling good today. Unicorn, how you feeling? Uh, feeling really good. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna continue to crunch here, continue to hike, and we'll catch everyone on the flip. All right, so Unicorn, it looks like we got our first Trail Magic 2023 AT 2023 northbound. We're gonna go right here. Uh, my brother right there, what's your name, brother, with the hat on? My name's Bobby. Bobby. And I'm Barry. And Barry? Steve. Steven. Uh, you know, we got, we're, Steven's right there in the back. So Bobby, you got the mic on right there. So Bobby, how long have you been doing this, brother? We started in 2016. Uh, we've been out here every year since then. We'll come out about 10 or 12 weekends during the year, mainly during the bubble. Mainly during the bubble. Why did you decide to do this, Bobby? Why, why was it? I mean, it's just the love. I mean, what was the love of the trail, or why would you want to do this? Well, in 2016, I was hiking from here back to Neal's Gap, and during that time, I was going through the discovery phase of cancer. Wasn't really sure what was going on at that point, so there's a lot of anxiety. About halfway through, I just felt surrounded by the presence of God and His Holy Spirit, that He was telling me, Bobby, I'm bigger than cancer. I got this, I got you. I want to take care of you. I want you to take care of hikers. And we've been doing it since. That is a wonderful message. I tell you what, you guys saw what happened at Devil's, what was that, Unicorn? At Devil's, Devil's Kitchen, there was that cross that tree, it was crick and crack in that episode. Was, out of all the trees, we thought we were goners in the middle of the night. We woke up and there was a cross there and I put it up and I was like, maybe, maybe someone's looking above. But Bobby, any message you'd like to tell the class of 2023 here going northbound? Any message you'd like to tell everyone? Uh, yeah, you know, it really is one step at a time. And we see hikers that are 17 from Germany that come across here and they are just got a heart for it. We see people that are in their 80s that are doing it. And the trick is just one step at a time. One step at a time. Everybody right now, I'm taking up his time. He's got all kinds of treats for us right here. Where are we at? Where are we located at? Tesla Tea Gap. Okay, Tesla Tea Gap. We have all kinds of goodies. I want to let everyone know we are living happiest known time. Bobby, thank you so much. First Trail Magic. I'm never going to forget this, brother. Sure, brother. We're going to catch you on the other side. Thank you. And I'm about to get some homemade chicken and rice with the Menchi Spoon. First Trail Magic. All right here, so we're uh, setting up camp. Um, and I tell you what, this might be like gear review cut because we're in gear uh, mode here after that wonderful trail magic. And uh, y as you can see right here, Unicorn again has set up the triplex in beautiful form right here. Unicorn, what do you have to say about this new tent setup of yours? What, what's, what, what are we learning here? Uh, so I see on a lot of other people's videos where they really utilize these side straps to bring the headroom, the head box and the foot box area up. I never really mastered that or really attempted to do it. We just it thought on the, the two PCT. pole setup was, was it, right? We would just bring all three lines all down to one center spot. Right. Um, so, and I see a lot of people, they do it with sticks and stuff, which there's plenty of, but since we both have a set of trekking poles, I lowered my trekking pole a little bit down and put it through the handle. Okay, so that's a new one here that I... So it kind of stays nice and secure at that and it stays at the same height. Okay, so you take this line right here and you go right through the handle and you come right down. And then the lower one, I just bring it right down. You bring it right down, you pull out. And what does that do? That really opens up the head box and foot box on the inside, so... All right, could you get, open you, up the zipper so we can take a look at the inside? So see if what you that get really condensation does? overnight, which yep. you do a lot, especially on the AT because it's a very wet trail. Right. Um, you're... Look at all that extra headroom there. So yeah. yeah, we're not getting up at night and getting our head wet. Your or feet if you're wet. A, or if you're a, kind of a longer person, your, your, your feet are touching it and you're pushing it out. I know everyone's kind of using yeah. different uh, Z-Pax tents because they're just badass. And uh, so that's going to give us a lot more room, even though yeah. we love, it's two of us and we're tiny and we love the triplex. But that is a great tip for our first cut of Rental and Unicorns gear review. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back on the, the mode of gear here, now that we're still there, I want to show everyone why um, I feel like um, the, the low shots when you're down here on the ground 
and, and you can see the feet walking and then eventually you have to pick up the camera. I felt that that just eventually just gets to me, the game needs to be brought to a higher level. Can't carry a tripod with you. Can't always have a stump or a rock on a high ridge. I'm trying to take advantage of the AT and what they know as the green tunnel and utilizing the sticks and stems. I had this idea and I see on my gear review is bringing out this, and as you can see, it's unraveling without really tangling. And that's because I'm carrying this attachment, this magnet that I've been talking about. It looks like it's back here because it's for the GoPro if you had, but it's a magnet for the DJI Action 2, which is that small square piece, right? And what I do is I clip that little piece on there and I'm able to hang it. Well, I took this Dyneema cord from the bear hang from Z-Pax and I was like, okay, so let me hang this. Let me hang this on the tree or, you know, let me do some foot shots. Let me get low here and do some foot shots, right? But really most importantly is like when I hang it up here, the problem is it's a long cord. So I was at Wanderer's Pad, he gave me this little paper clip here, and I, and I couldn't figure out how to utilize it. So I'm here on trail, what I did is I just knotted them on both sides, which helps it not get tangled. Like Puppet Master, boop boop, right, you see it? And what that enabled me to do is store it safely in my pocket without ruining my pockets, but when it's time to use, I clip it like that. I find the tree, I hurry up, I come through, I put it through a stem, I pull it all the way up like that, I find the angle of the dangle that I like, you like that angle of the dangle? and I clip it there and the camera stays up in the upright position. You can get my gist there. You take it, you fold it, and you clip it. And that allows me to get a lot of that forward facing, like at that eye level, like when I walk past like that, instead of always at my feet. So I'm trying to up the game and trying to get eye level. I just wanna let everyone else out know there. It takes a little extra time to do it, but this is the hack with the angle of the dangle. Thank you very much. All right. Hello everyone, that is the end of day five, of day five. So just had a conversation about that. Um, you know, the one thing great about not doing outdoors on the phone and doing director's cut from, I saw, again, I forgot to tell them I'm still using the S21 from uh, two years ago, is um, I get to look at my phone for notes because I went through some important parts today. So hopefully everyone enjoyed the great little gear thing with the, the triplex and the hack there through the handle. And of course, the, uh, the angle of the dangle, hashtag angle of the dangle. And um, we'll talk about uh, the weather. It was like 63 degrees today. Yeah. 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 Um, and also want to give a really good warm shout out to uh, Bobby, uh, the first trail angel that we had on the AT uh, this year in 2023. I'd like to really thank Bobby um, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of our hearts. We hashtag Veterans Day every day. I did not know that there were a bunch of veterans there. We've got a couple of Navy, Marines, and uh, we really want to thank you for your service. Um, if y'all didn't know, I am Vietnamese, was born in Vietnam, was came over here, got naturalized, so I really give respect to all of the veterans out there um in this great nation of ours so thank you very much for your service also we had some retired firefighters there of course thank you for your service as well great trail magic but more importantly thank you for your service bobby that was an awesome time at your trail magic yes what did you eat oh my god he had some homemade chicken and rice soup it was so hot and so flavorful um it felt like halloween there was a whole bowl of chocolates and hot coffee fruit just a whole bunch of good stuff brownies everything everything yeah, it was awesome yep and one thing we're gonna have to get used to on the at is that sometimes when you you camp you got some road noise which is all right you know interaction you get to be a little bit more social um also another thing i want to say is uh talking about you know doing these through hikes and getting your trail legs and having to get off um i just want to uh, talk about the fact that I really appreciate the fact that we uh, don't have to get off and we can get our trail legs and that's happiest known time because once again just to reiterate we sectioned 300 miles uh, back in 2018 it seemed like every single time we got our trail legs we had to get off and to quote the great Heather Anderson which I just tagged her on Instagram, gave her a shout out. She gave us a shout out back. So Heather Anderson, uh, one of the things I loved about her is in that Seattle, Washington article, she said that she really feels for section hikers because you go out for two weeks, you get your trail legs and then you have to get off. She believes that's tougher than actually through hiking. And now that I can kind of relate to that, we can kind of relate where we went out, as soon as we got our trail legs, we had to get off. Um, 
that's tough. I think that's tougher than actually getting your trail legs and going. So shout out to Heather Anderson. I think she's the greatest through hiker of all time. Uh, one of the reasons where I do wear sleeves as well, Heather Anderson's a big believer of sleeves. I'm a big believer of sleeves as well. So she's one of my through hiker idols for sure. Um, also, honorary, honorary toss for, for Puddin. It seems like he might be our our like, Terminus pal, kind of like way yeah. back with Cruz and them when we yeah. saw him at Terminus. He kind of threw his boots up there, but I do want to stop you guys from thinking he did not uh, quit. He, he just upgraded his shoe, but we caught the toss on camera, so I yeah. figured we'd give him the honorary toss on that tree at Neil Gap. That has history of people that have quit on the trail, but I was also informed by Chris that sometimes people that finish the trail also throw their shoes. So it's not just who, people who quit. There's a small percentage of, I guess, people who go Sobo and they're finishing, right? Yeah. Unicorn and they toss. So it's not yeah. just people who quit. I was corrected. Yeah. I always learn a little bit of history. But I think that wraps it up, Unicorn, unless I forgot something about the day. Day five, I am amped up because the 5G UC is really coming in strong here. I'm getting the, the vlogs updated. I'm interacting with the community. We're getting new friends, new subs. We're DMing people. That really gives us the energy. We really want to thank everyone for their time viewing, liking, subbing, interacting. It keeps the energy flowing. So thank you very much uh, for entertaining us and keeping us here at happiest known time. Happy, right? So that's what we're trying to do is always trying to really embody happiest known time. And sometimes it's really difficult when the times get rough, but today was... 64, 63, yeah. 63 degrees. We only did about seven miles today, so we, we got a late start leaving Neil Gap and really enjoyed our pizza breakfast this morning. Again, more pizza and the trail magic. So our bellies are very full. We did about only seven miles at Hogpen Gap now. And yeah. it was a really good day. Really, yeah. really good day. It really Beautiful good. weather. It's all it's all really nice. That's awesome. So yeah, seven miles and that's okay because we've got a plan. And we're going to continuously just kind of gradually get into our trail legs and our body, get our body acclimated to trail life. Yep. And uh, we will catch you guys on day six. We'll catch you on the other side. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.